Guys, show FM is it's me, FM Cheetah. You can call me Matt, and welcome back to season five of Roving to the Top. Yes, I thought we'd start with a little FA Community Shield. Uh, we have played this once before, I believe. No, idiot that I am, it was the UEFA Super Cup, in fact, although it was the same opponent, Liverpool. We lost that one 3-2. I don't know. I think we can win this one. Nil-nil was our last game, you'll remember. But of course, this is the transfer episode, so that's probably what you're interested in. And it's been an interesting summer. We'll start with the outs, of course, and you're going to notice a theme in these outs. I want you to have a look at the top left of your screen. Armin Dossieb out to uh, Bayer Leverkusen, as you might remember, for 10. We picked him up on a f uh, free from uh, Bayer, uh, Bayer Munchen, sorry. Uh, so, you know, that's a nice little earner. Yari Vasharanen, another one on a free, or not quite, a th I think he ended up costing us 1 million or something like that, maybe even less than that. Anyway, 35 mil, that's right, Bayer Leverkusen. Yeah, apparently they've got the money this season. I don't know where they finished up, but anyway, they come in for Yari. He's gone, all the best. Never quite sort of came together. Uh, for Yari here at Blackburn, so we wish him all the best at uh, Leverkusen. Morgan Whitaker, another three, the English uh, inside, uh, oh, sorry, English winger, I should say. You know, still got some developing to do, hasn't quite come on fast enough for us to achieve the goals we need to achieve this season going forward. Out for 10 million, just like Armendo Sim, he went this season. Who's that, you say? By Leverkusen three players. Schell, the Portuguese midfield wonder, 22 now, still got a bit of room to go. Had a great season at Riave uh, last season. Yep, that's right, by Leverkusen, 10 million euros. So, by and that is 65 million euros from all these players that we've sold to Leverkusen. Look at this, Bayern, they're just overloaded with talent here, overloaded. There's Schurler, there's Yari Vasharanen. That's Armindo Sieb, there's Morgan Whitaker. Hey, they like our players, that's good. Maybe they've got some players that we can take. They weren't the only outs. At long last, Joe Rankin Costello has left, 25. He's gone to West Ham for 15 mil. Again, same sort of thing, never quite developed, went on loan quite a bit, just didn't come together. That first season was great. I think even the first two seasons were okay, but um, anyway. Deal done, 15 mil, he's off uh, to West Ham. Hope he has a great uh, future there. Mujak Sadiq has left for Celtic. I don't remember if we touched on this last season. 24, he left for Celtic for what? Was it 10 million? I can't remember now. It was 10 million. He came in for six, left for 10. That puts us ahead. He's not a terrible player by any means. Again, just this was part of my crazy spending fury and it, it just didn't happen for my Jude. Marek Rodick went to Leeds for six million, uh, the 27 year old keeper, decent little keeper, but we had Gunnarsson and of course we have Maximenko and we had uh, the uh, other young Czech, uh, Czech or Pole? Czech, I think. Anyway, uh, he was out on loan. So, you know, Leeds came in, we said, sure, we'll take that money, that's fine. He went, bye Marek. Sorry, it was three, not, not six, three. Nah. Tarek Lamptey, it happened at long last, 31 and a half million, I think it was, to Chelsea. He's off, um, he wanted to go. Uh, so they came in, when I had a look at what he was, you know, how he was feeling about it, he was feeling like, yeah, I wanna go. I thought, you know what, fine. Fine, we know we had um, a Meshik coming back as left back, and of course we've got Aaron Hickey. And even though he's super flexible, Hickey can, is a pretty flexible too, and, and uh, so is Meshak. He can kind of move around left back, right back. Not as good as Tariq, obviously, but nonetheless, 31 million, again, for a free. Couldn't say no. Adam Armstrong, 30 million to Everton. Uh, you know, was such a star in those early seasons. You know, still got great pace, you know, Good player, just didn't develop fast enough. If we compare him now, we think, yeah, okay, he was that kind of player, really solid championship, lower Premier League player, not the kind of player we need, you know, for those top three, four slots to be competing for the Champions League and to be keeping competing for the title in the, in the long run. Uh, so Adam, 30 mil, that's quite nice, all the best. And the last big one post the end of the season was Dominic Yankov, 35 million to uh, Inter. He came in for something like 22, I believe, in total. Yeah, 14 and a half blowing out to 22. So, you know, we're ahead. Again, good player, but with the purchases um, of, uh, you think I can remember his name? Uh, I can't. <laughs> 
<clears throat> Matthias Palacio, Matthias Palacio, that's who, Matthias Palacio, and of course we had Chelly here and Abdul Qadir. Uh, it, it was unlikely that uh, Yankov was going to go for 35 million. We'll take that. So that's a whole lot of money there. It's about you know 100 million coming in, uh, as well as the 100 and, you know 30 odd million we had anyway. Now there have been a bunch of loanouts as well. Not as I'm trying to keep hold of uh, as many as I can, but loan offers come in. And I feel bad not putting them out on loan. But we will keep some of the youngsters here. We won't loan them out, not all of them. Um, yeah, because we want to be able to you know, tick that developing youth box. <clears throat> now, what you actually came for were the inns. Now, the inns were challenging because I had to think, well, what is it that, um, where, where are the gaps? You know, where are the real gaps? And when we had a look at it and had, a, you know, the sale of Adam Armstrong, I felt that there was a uh, gap on the left and possibly even a gap on the right. And I, you know, obviously we have Abdul Qadir and we have uh, Milot, but Milot doesn't like to play on the right. He likes to play in the center. We have Chelly as well. So we'd need someone on the right possibly as well. Looking at central defense, it was pretty solid. Maybe some support back on the right back and left back, but we also had people coming back. We had a lot of very good youngsters coming back who we really should give a go to. And we had um, a day here, as you'll remember, the Liverpool starlet and McAtee, the Manchester City uh, loanee, both had, I think, $50 million uh, buyout clauses. We didn't activate any of them because I thought, yeah, they're okay, but I thought we could do better in terms of younger with more potential. Anyway, um, so remember the ones that came, there were a few who came in as freeze uh, that were purchased, I think, at the beginning of uh, last season. Tony Weston came in from Rangers on a free. He's like a sort of false nine. He's 20. He's got some potential, apparently. I don't know about Tony. Look, it was a free. It was good value. Uh, I believe there is an offer pending, a loan offer pending for him. Oh, no, there's not. Not at the moment. He might be the kind of guy who stays and just develops here. I don't really play a false nine, but he is free. He's now worth 1.1. That's a, you know, one million one hundred thousand percent increase on his value. Uh, so he came in, and Jose Alberto Farfan came in. Farfan came in for just under a mil, about eight nine hundred thousand. Yeah, from um, Blackburn, he has gone out on loan to uh, Celta Vigo, uh, and uh, he's a nice little centre back. He's eighteen. He's one hundred ninety four centimeters. Look at him. He's pretty strong. He's pretty brave. Uh, he's got excellent positioning and teamwork, brilliant tackling, uh, you know, solid header, jumping, all that. This is solid. 18, good potential. He'll go to um, Thelta. He'll go and play some games. Great. I think, you know, this is, you know, not that we're desperate for centre backs, but hey, here's, here's one who's a bit flexible too, could possibly push forward, could push out on the right. Anyway, he'll have fun at Thelta. Should say my mistake. Tony Weston has actually gone to Reading. I thought he had. I was looking at the wrong screen. So he's gone out on Reading. That's a good place for him in the championship. Go in there, do his thing. Hopefully they play him well. And you'll remember Jean Maxime Loire Loire. Here he is, the 19 year old. He's pretty special, huh? He is pretty special. Uh, the only thing that bothers me is his concentration, but those technicals are amazing. The physicals are really solid as well. He's, uh, he's featured in preseason, he's done pretty well. Uh, he's done pretty well. But he uh, he's lovely. I mean, look, he was coming in on a free. Why would I pay $50 million, uh, for uh, a day as good as he is? This guy's 19. He's got bags of potential. He's pretty solid. Can play in the hole. Could even play up front. Super flexible. He's a lot like uh, a day, in fact. Maybe... Yeah, maybe better in the long run. A bit of leadership too, that's always good. And again, free. Have a look at that valuation. 40 and a half million. That's a nice little earner for a free signing, isn't it? 40 and a half mil. Fantastic. I believe he is rated as a wonder kid. Sure is. Wonder away. Magic, magic, magic. Now, another free, but this happened, uh, I th this happened with the, I think with the, no, it wasn't the players out. I can't, where did, uh, where did Craig come from again? Came from Ross County, came in on a free. I think we'd been watching him maybe and he's, he was running down his contract. Anyway, he's 19. He's a central defender or a defensive midfielder. Yes, defenders, look at this guy, 19. Look at those attributes, just superb. No, not really fast. I don't like those down arrows, but, uh, you know, brilliant. You know, brilliant player. Again, flexible. 
he's one who is going to stay here, I think, for the season. We want him to develop here. He's also good enough to step in if needed, if we have an injury run. You know, he could he could do that work. But yeah, really nice. Again, free and already worth eight million. I mean, Watford are interested in a, in a loan by the look of it. Yeah, I don't think so. I think I'd like him to stay. In fact, I think he's already rejected a loan. But anyway, uh, yeah, welcome Craig Harper. Now the spends happen. This is Yad Almada. Yad Almada came in for Genk uh, for 1.5 million euros. Yeah, a lot of downward arrows here. Anyway, halfback, central defender, I guess again. But he's 18. Look at that potential. Look at those attributes. He's already out on loan. He's out on loan somewhere in... He's out the New York Red Bulls. That's right. He's doing quite well there. Let's hope he develops a bit better than that. We don't want him to be another sort of stalled developer. Mm, we'll see. But, you know, uh, the only thing that bothers me given that role is, you know, poor aggression. Uh, poor aggression. But, uh, you know, everything else looks pretty good. Uh, he's very brave. He's decent tackler. He's all those things. Yeah. But anyway, 1.5. Great day. Look, he had it. I don't know if we can see his coach report. No, we can't. But uh, the coach report was outstanding. Outstanding. Great Um I think if we can have a look at information here, centre back, fairly professional, just solid. Welcome Yada Amada. Yada, I've seen many Yada. Wait, where's he from? He's Brazilian. Jada? No. Oh, who knows? Now, speaking of Belgium's, Jérôme Brousset, the sort of 19-year-old uh, winger come inverted winger. We will train him to be an inverted winger. We are. He's 19. Look at him. He came in for 42 million euros straight up. I went, sure, we'll have him. He's a natural leader. He's, he, he's got great passing. He's got great technique. He's got speed. He's outstanding. You know, he is outstanding. Um, yes, he, we've got a lot of people on the right, and that's fine. They will come in and out, and I have no problem with that. All these players have come in mostly as squad players, uh, even though they came in for big money. So I'm not particularly worried, but, you know, but they, will, uh, they will get game time. We've got a lot of games to play. Uh, and here he is, you know, he's got a bit of flexibility, can play further, you know, can play further back, can get further forward. Why wouldn't we? Um, yeah, welcome, Jerome. And speaking of Belgians, uh, Jose Beguar, Jose Beguar, 19-year-old central defender, can go as a right back. Yes, another defender I hear you say, look at him, look at him, he's 19. He's outstanding. Because of his arrival, we are retraining David Caramo as a deep-lying uh, playmaker defensive um, or he can play as a halfback because how good is this guy? I mean, he is outstanding. He is outstanding. And I also want an opportunity to play Binks with Betty Shield because I think Binks is overall the better. Of course, Kamo had an amazing season last season. Um, you know, and I think, uh, you know, Begua is going to be on the bench. He's going to get games. Uh, he's great. Look at him. He's 19. He's outstanding. Look at him. Look at that potential. Yes, he's back, Matthias Bogus. Uh, he look decided to go for forty-six and a half million. It's hard to fault him, isn't it? Look at that—the vision, the passing, uh, the teamwork, just everything about him. He's only he's still only twenty-two. He's five-star. I think he might be the only proper, well, I don't know if he is, but anyway, proper five-star potential. He's going to start. He's going to back up Hannibal. Uh, you know, with the loss of Yari, we've got no one to play in that role. We need someone to step into that deep line playmaker role uh, in, in support or even advanced playmaker. Because Kahnemore can go deeper. Um, Hannibal in, in the center, and here's uh, Bogut's backing him up. And so those guys are going to take turns doing that. Off the, I mean, look at him, off the ball. It's just, he's, he, it's just outstanding. Wanted to come back. He came back, good, <laughs> good, for, you know, 46 and a half million. But he wasn't our biggest spend. There's one more. My, my, my Delilah. We've been eyeing off Tom Jones at Fulham for, since he was 17, I think. He's now 19. He's still got bags of potential. Can play in midfield, can play out in the left, can play up front. I mean, he can do everything. Look at him. The, the only thing I see is, you know, concentration isn't great for a center of midfield, but that's okay. He's English, so that's important. He will probably play on... He's going to be one of those guys on the bench who comes in, plays on the left, plays in the center, plays up front, you know, can do all kinds of things. We are training him as an, a winger, I believe. No, I think we're training him as an advanced playmaker. Yep, we're training him as an advanced playmaker, working on his endurance because that work rate's not much. Hopefully the concentration will come good. He'll get some games. He's a squad player. You know, he can play with us. He can play in um, with the under-23s. He's good. 50 mil. 
cost him. So that's a, we spent quite a bit, but we still have money. Still 80 million in the bank for transfers. We're within our transfer budget, but it's much tighter than it used to be. We're looking very healthy, 236 in the bank. So brought in players, and I, I think they're gonna make the difference. They're going to make the difference. Here was uh, pre-season, had a weird little hiccup. I don't know if anyone's have, had this, but with our money-making uh, cash cow cup, for some reason, the friendly, the, the final of the friendly didn't happen. Anyway, we lost one game, 3-2 home game to Paris uh, to uh, Paris Saint-Germain, going to show you that we still have things to learn, although it wasn't that, uh, you know, it was, it was tighter than it looked. Uh, one draw, 2-2 two, two away to uh, Moscow, that was an away game, so if that was a European tournament, we you know, wouldn't be unhappy with that, and it was a comeback too. Obviously, a lot of ridiculous score lines, don't need to pay too much attention to that. And that's it. It's... Uh, you know, uh, there are some other things going on, I should say. I have transfer listed Abdul Qadi uh, we've, uh, we've got him out for sort of 40 million. Napoli is sniffing around him, so we'll leave him there for now. I don't know, you know, I mean, why isn't he working? Why isn't he working? I just don't know. I mean, he should work, shouldn't he? He had moments. He, he certainly had moments uh, last season, but yeah, I, you know, We've got Chelly. Chelly was an absolute star. He wants to play in the hole. He can also play out on the right if need be, and on the left for that matter. We've got uh, Palacios who can play in the hole. We've got plenty of players. You know, Gulickson is is here. He can't play in the hole, but he plays deep. I thought, you know, done, done. Uh, the other player we tried to uh, transfer list was Jacob Davenport. Now this might seem like a weird one, but with pushing Cardamore forward, I thought we don't really need Davenport. Uh, no one wanted him in the end. So I've taken him off the transfer list. He's gonna play me in under 23s. Eventually he'll get sick of that. He'll take some offer and go. It's nasty, but you know, whatever. Problem we've got is that his contract's out soon and I'd rather not lose him on a free, but if we lose him on a free, we lose him on a free. He didn't come in for much all those years ago, I don't believe. 1.4, he came in from Burton Albion. Well, you know, 1.4 where we're at now. I mean, it's a sign, it's not even a sign on FIFA half these players. But he's here, he's still here. And, um, and he may stay here. So that's the squad. Uh, Meshek Fatal is, is back and he will probably start on the bench. Papetti is registered. He's like a player we never had before. He's registered. I forgot about him. Another reason that Karma was retraining. Uh, Binks, of course. Ah, oh, Mario Ferreira. Why didn't he come up? So this was the free Uruguayan. He is Uruguay's number one, apparently, the 18 year old. I mean, he's very good, but number one? Anyway, he's a backup. Very, very good backup too, I think you'll agree. A lot of the players you'll know, of course, Thiago is still here, although he is wanted still. Uh, Herter, they won't take him. McIntosh is back and he will play. There's Loire Loire. Um, who else we got? Tom Tommy Jones is there. He's going to be on the bench for this one. Uh, Bogarts is starting because Hannibal is away on international duty. It's the Olympics. The Olympics are at the moment, so he's away there. Palacios will start because Chelly's picked up an injury. We've had a few longish injuries late in the piece. So Terrago Tomas is out for a couple of weeks. Chelly is out for a few, look at that, he's out for three, four weeks at least. And um, we've had a few players coming back uh, from injuries, as you can see there. Uh, Binks is out still. He's out only for another week or so. He is outstanding. He needs to get more time. We are training. We'll work on that endurance because that's... Um, I think that's a problem. I, think, I mean, I know he's just a defender, but you need you need better work rate than that. Hickey's here. Uh, Karamo will start this game just because, you know, these guys aren't particularly fit and he does have that relationship going on. All right, that was transfer season. You know, we just can't get the, you know, Makuku, the, the, the Dortmund striker, went to Liverpool. Now they've got Makuku and Erling Haaland. This is ridiculous. You know, they're going to score so many goals. City has been bleeding uh, players out. There's just players going out left, right and centre because they can't get European competition, I guess. Anyway, certainly the biggest transfer window we've ever had. Uh, we'll see if it's effective. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I am always looking for that one purchase, but no one wants to come to us yet. You know that Erling Haaland, that Jaden Sancho, all those players, but they don't ever want to come to us. By the way, Paris Saint-Germain has got Jaden Sancho and a whole bunch of other brilliant players. 
Yes. Anyway, we're going to play Liverpool in the FA Community Shield and then have a look at the games ahead. Just this one game today for a bit of fun. Um, should we get into it? Uh, so we're on positive suggesting balanced. Okay, I'll do that and let's take up their instructions. So Harlan is starting. Elliot is playing on the left. O'Day is on the right. Uh, uh, Roberto Firmino in the hole. So he's still there. Locatelli is still there. Jordan Henderson is still there. Alexander Arnold on the right, Cavadio on the left, Van Dijk, and uh, Anders Christensen. Indeed. There you go. Okay. Here is our team. So we are playing Gunnison because this is a domestic cup. Gunnison uh, in goal, Singo and Hickey in those wing back positions. That all sound familiar. Papetti and Karamo will be playing in this game because we just have you know injuries we have them and so these guys are going to start Bogots and Travis in the center of midfield Palacios is playing in the hole Bruce on uh, Bruce Bruce on the right inverted winger Dolan on the left yes Tyrese Dolan still here Peke up front we're playing balanced we're playing balanced and we'll see how we go nil no was the last game let's not forget all right the fans let's do it for the fans seem demotivated i have faith lots of faith wow bogus is demotivated wow what did i say then that was so terrible anyway tell you what we will do we'll play extended might come to regret that but anyway let's play extended not sure about balance but we'll, we'll leave it for now we did uh, it was nil nil at home that last game but you know, there wasn't much on. Anyway, we do have some kind of highlights. Cardamore finds Therese. Therese finds Hickey. Hickey's coming forward. Yep, he skipped past the race. Skip past Alexander-Arnold. Will he get the ball in? No, but he gets the corner. Sure, we'll do that. Oh, Peke. Oh, don't shoot. Oh. Another, oh, no, goal kick. Wow, that was, sorry, it was a, it was Paying too much attention to that uh, reminder of Alexander Arnold. So as we head towards uh, 10 minutes, let's give him a bit of encouragement. And you know what? Let's go a bit positive. Let's see what happens. I might regret it. Encouraging helps. Let's see if I regret the positive mentality. So we head into the 40th minute. What is it with my boys and the others? Oh dear, In outswinger Elliot. Bruce is on it. No, Henderson's dispossessed him. Firmino. Firmino finds Elliot, who's coming in. He's going to shoot. He was offside. Sweet. Hmm. Highlight a piece. Six shots, one on target versus two shots, none on target. They do have the bulk of the possession, though. Hmm. It's a bit mmm, isn't it? A bit mmm. Certainly not going to say that. I'm happy with your performance. Keep it up. Sure. Why not? We will do a quick of an opposition look at. Let's start the second half with the Liverpool highlight. Brilliant. Virgil. Out to Elliot. Uh, who's it? No. Mm hmm. Boussey staying on him. How are we doing performance wise? Yeah. Palacios, not so great. Same with Dolan. Pretty ordinary. I mean, it's just pretty ordinary all around the film. Bogget, 6.5. Here we go. Bogget fires it in. Who's going to get on it? Grabber is on it. Collects. Will he release? We've got plenty of... We have got plenty of people back. Uh, Harlan's coming forward, though. Finds Locatelli. Finds Elliot. They've done a good job of this. Elliot shoots. Gunnison saves. On oh, you, Gunnison. Singo looks tired. He does look tired. Ignore that for now. Ball came in. I wasn't paying attention. A day's on the ball. He'd love to score against us, wouldn't he? Oh, Bogart's clears. Hmm. So I guess here we go. Henderson, Locatelli, back to Christensen. They're moving the ball around very well. Liverpool releases a day. Henderson, can we get the ball? I know we are going back. Gvardiol, Henderson. Oh, I like moving the ball around. Christensen releases Harlan. No, Elliot's on the ball. He's going to shoot and he's going to score. All right.
Right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a bit of short passing. Um, and obviously, I mean, look at this. It's just really ordinary all around here. Harlan heads to Elliot, traps the ball, shoots, scores. Why are they so good? They're so good. All right, so uh, Fatai can come on. What we'll do is we'll drop these guys into defensive positions and then we'll put the front runners on attack and we'll stop the overlaps, I think. And we'll keep that there though. Eh? Uh, so that's him. Oh dear, Fatai's nervous. Uh, Palathos, everyone's having just a terrible, terrible game. Okay, so we're going to bring on, going to bring on Gullickson. Did not have a great preseason, but we're going to bring him on. Going to give the team to it. Pump the fists. I've got faith. They're motivated. Good. Starts with a throw in. Vardio, what's happened? Brad's on it. Julian Brad, he's coming in. Elliot's on it. Let's not have him score again. Boggart's clears. Sure. Dolan is the player who isn't firing. I mean, so is Boggart's, but he's in better shape. All right, so what we'll do then, we're going to bring McIntosh on. Pump the fist, get out there. Yeah, he's motivated. That's good. Let's go to attack. Can we get an equalizer? 15 minutes left. Nine shots, three on target versus their seven. Three on target. All right. So we'll go with shorter passing. We will go wider. And we will get very attacking. <laughs> oh no, Elliot, free kick. Fires it in. Christensen, Gunnison collects. Do we get a little counter? No, we don't. Corner, Elliot, outswinger. Harland, Gunnison saves on your Patrick. He's having a pretty good uh, 6.5, you say. I thought he was doing better than that. Another outswinger from Elliot. Carnemore clears. Peke's on it. Let's get the equalizer. Bruce, Bruce finds McIntosh, finds Peke. Peke's tearing forward, shoots. Needed to have a bit more composure than that. As we head towards the 90th minute, we've had 10 shots, only three on target versus Liverpool's nine to five. We're in the last seconds, Julian Brandt's on the ball. Nuno Mendes, the Portuguese wonder kid. He's coming forward. Elliot's on it. Come on, Christensen on the ball. Can we, oh, Peke, Peke. Boggets. Oh, come on. Better shot than that. Come on. Seconds to go. 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 Oh. Alexander Arnold's on the ball. Carnemore finds it. Releases Bruce. Oh, he's there in Peke. Can't get the ball though. Finds a day. A day's coming forward. Out to Alexander Arnold. Lewis Travis with a tackle. That's got to be it. It's got to be it. day back to uh, Florentino Harland Gunnison gathers his Harland is just so dangerous and that is the game a 1-0 loss uh, in the cup I mean hardly surprising given who we're up against this is we're still not competing with these teams uh, whether that's going to just take development of our own squad because no one wants to come here we've got the money but they don't want to come here at all they just don't feel that we're ready for it um, I guess we need to win something Premier League Champions League, we need to win something big. I mean, you know, not not shocking, you'd have to say. Poor performances, certainly, but, you know, no, mm, you know, that's about it. Unlucky boys. I think they were unlucky. I don't want to pressure on this early in the season, really. Perpetti makes his debut and I think has the best, uh, the, the, the best rating of all our players from memory. Let's have a look. At some fixtures. So Chelsea and Palace, I 
guess. I mean, there's a big team here. We should play them. Chelsea and Palace. Why not? Why not indeed? So that's it for me today. Thanks once again. Until next time, last Saturday.